For my video commentary, I decided to look at the United Airlines uh, United Breaks Guitars link in Chapter 8 under the bailment uh, section. And it originally, uh, the link originally sends you to um, the music video entitled United Breaks Guitars, which is written by a guitarist named Dave Carroll. Um, his band, uh, Sons of Maxwell, was were flying from Halifax to Chicago and from Chicago to Omaha. And while they were at their connecting flight in Chicago waiting to board, uh, witnesses saw baggage handlers for United uh, throwing Carol's guitar around. Um, and then later he found out that it was broken. Um, and this guitar was not just an ordinary guitar. It was a name brand Taylor guitar, which uh, was valued at $3,500. Um, and the, uh, the repair was going to cost $1,200 to fix um, the neck of the guitar, which was broken. Um, so Carol jumped through hoops for nine months with various customer service representatives trying to um, get payment or repayment rather for his um, broken guitar neck and uh, eventually someone by the name of Miss Earlwig uh, told him that the matter was closed um, and so he vowed to write three songs detailing his experience with United uh, throughout the um, process. So as of today, the, view, uh, the videos have received over 20 million views um, combined, um, and all three of them are posted on YouTube. Um, and this is connected to the book uh, because uh, United Airlines and Mr. Carroll were in a bailment agreement of sorts. Uh, Mr. Carroll paid a fee um, to United Airlines in order to have his guitar transported on their flights. Um, and so uh, that leaves both of them um, gaining from this, which leaves United Airlines uh, as the Bailey with an ordinary duty of care. Uh, when the baggage holders were found um, to be throwing the guitar around um, and the guitar was later dam uh, found damaged, allegations for uh, gross negligence became an option. Um, and so additional examples of this um, can be found within United Airlines recently. Uh, they were kind of in my opinion, Baileys for the care of their passengers, uh, but a few weeks ago they were found to have um, uh, been negligent with um, the care of one of their passengers when they overbooked a flight, um, which easily uh, could have been um, taken care of if they had a better, um, a better system of deciding which passengers can receive tickets um, on an overbooked flight. Um, as well as taking more care to reserve flight uh, seats for their own staff. Um, and another example happened with another airline company, um, Delta, who was a Bailey for a dog named Paco, um, who disappeared while under their care. They originally said that he um, just made it onto the wrong flight and that he would be put on a different flight um, and sent to where the owner was uh, the next day, but when they called back, United, or sorry, not United, Delta claimed that um, Paco had found a way out of his crate and um, had run away and they couldn't find him. Um, he was never recovered and so the owner um, was also falsely informed about the whereabouts during this process. Um, and so in, in addition to what had happened, um, Paco's owner was only offered $200 for payment um, for what he had originally paid for the dog to be flown, and then also a $200 flight credit, um, which the owner found useless because he was not going to ever fly Delta again. Um, and so that didn't even match up to the value of, um, of you know, his dog, especially sentimental value. Um, so as a business leader, um, my way of kind of not having these same problems um, is first of all I'd make customer happiness um, a number one priority um, and sometimes this means taking a bit of a loss financially uh, but it's worth it in order to gain um, favor with customers and good word of mouth um, because that stuff travels fast um, and in an age where uh, people report now and ask questions later you can't afford to be careless with your customer service um, 
time and time again, it's found that a good reputation is really uh, hard to build and it's a long process, but very easily broken down um, by one event or a series of events that really just um, resonate with a customer who's willing to speak out about it. So thank you.